I've never really talked about dreams on here before. The kind that seem to have a spiritual or prophetic significance to them. In the Bible, if we look at it, there are people, um, on so many instances, God speaks to them through dreams, gets his point across to them through dreams in one manner or another. And for some reason these days, that's something that a lot of people, even in the church, seem to think that it has discontinued, that it doesn't happen anymore, and if people talk about receiving any kind of information along these lines, they are um, thought of as crazy or as liars or something. So I've always had a tendency to kind of shy away from this kind of topic. Coming to YouTube, I was actually really amazed um, to see just how many people are out there talking about this kind of this exact kind of experience. There are so many, um, so many different people talking about so many different dreams. So, um, well, I've actually had off and on throughout my life dreams along these lines that seem to have some kind of a significance in this manner to them. The earliest one that I can remember occurred when I was in the first grade. This morning, for the first time in a little while, I had something that really, a dream that really stood out to me, and I wanted to share it with you guys on here. Um, I wrote it down, I've got it typed up here actually, so that I wouldn't forget any of the details to share. Um, so, okay, it was basically in this dream I was waking up, I had been sleeping on the couch, and I could hear a motor outside. So I got up to look out the window and to see what was going on, and there was this UPS truck coming around the corner of the road. Now this in itself I thought was strange because um, I live, although I'm just out of town, I'm on a little isolated country road basically, and any time I've ever ordered from somewhere that used UPS as shipping, they've never been able to find my location and my packages have always been left elsewhere, so I always avoid um, UPS. <laughs> but in my dream there was a UPS um, van coming around the road and I was watching it. I was like, what? what are, I didn't order a package. What are they doing here? But um, they bring out this big package and they're taking it up on the bank behind my house and they're opening it up and uh, inside of it it almost looked like a large radio of some kind basically and as I was even though they were outside and everything far enough away that in actuality I would not have been able to hear them in my dream I could hear everything that was going on but and they were talking about well actually a lot of the conversations I really don't remember just basic impressions of it but um, I got the impression that it was sit there in some way to kind of keep an eye on people, to spy on people, that sort of thing. And they were getting it all set up. And um, then in my dream, I noticed that there was these two men that were there. I'm not sure if they were there to begin with, but you know, they're all at once they were. And they were almost caricatures of what they were supposed to represent because they were such extreme examples, almost almost a parody, basically, of what they were supposed to represent. But it was basically that one man was almost like an Old Testament prophet, complete with the long white hair and the long beard and even the robes. And the other one was basically, he was a modern day Christian. He had almost a hippie look to him. And um, this particular um, man seemed to come off a little on the 
ignorant side, basically, that he just, they were having a conversation, and, well, basically, the prophet, the Old Testament prophet, was trying to teach him different things, different spiritual truths and um, things like that, and the one that was the modern, um, modern time person, the Christian man, was asking him questions, but you could tell that he really wasn't quite understanding spiritual significance of things, the spiritual truths. It was almost like he was parroting information that he had heard. Not so much that he understood things, but just, you know, except for just on the surface value of stuff. And I could tell in my dream it was almost like the prophet was getting a little bit irritated with him, but still trying to be patient as he was explaining things to him. And the guy, he just wasn't quite getting it. Um, and again, I've really forgotten most of the conversations, but I know there, at the end of it, there was the topic came up of the cost what it costs to follow God, what it costs to be a Christian. And it, again, it was like this man, um, the modern one, was not quite understanding the depth of the issue. And at that point, it was like there was this ominous tone and there was a, a voiceover which said, you know, it will cost you everything. And then it switched, there was a flash of, I could see a close-up of the Christian man's face. And then as I was watching, I realized that this flash was of his head lying on the ground. He had been beheaded for his faith. And that this was basically not not happening at that time, but it was a glimpse of this man's future. And that was the end of my dream. What I found so interesting about this was out of all of the dreams that I have had, well, anytime I've had a dream of that seemed of significance, it's always had my attention, but out of all of them that I've had, I've never before, during a dream, felt such a need to pay attention, such a need of the, an impression of the importance of it. Um, during part of my dream, I was thinking, you know, all this was actually going on. But then during another part of my dream, you know, I realized, oh, this is a dream. And this is something that is, you know, something I really need to pay attention to. <laughs> so, uh, take it however you will. I just felt like it was something that perhaps I should put out here for you all to listen to and interpret as you will.